Now, how do I, how do I end this? Uh, I would like to do a little human uh, business here. Uh, the Verstehen, um, let me just point out that when I was in Germany last, uh, there was a button that one put on the lapel, <coughs> on the lapel, and it said, Putin Versteher. Okay? Now, those of you who know German know that that means someone who understands Putin. And I thought to myself, wow, somebody is interested in understanding Mr. Putin? And my friends say, no, 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 Ray, for God's sake, don't wear that button. That's a pejorative. That means you're in Putin's pocket. Now, verstehen uh, comes from the word stand, to stand, okay? If you can't understand where people stand, you can't understand what bothers them. And what bothers uh, Mr. Putin, as well as membership in NATO for Ukraine, is the emplacement of these holes already operational in Romania and Poland, right on the periphery of the United States. Uh, they are disguised as ABM systems, but they can easily be put, uh, accommodate uh, cruise missiles and, as I say, hypersonic missiles. Now, there was a motto uh, in the recent German demonstrations. It said, um, Verhandeln statt schießen. Now, Verhandeln is the word for negotiate, to talk. Hunt, the hunt. You reach out the hand to the other person, you try to understand them. Verhandeln statt schießen. Schießen is to shoot, okay? Now that makes good sense, but I have to tell you that it's not welcome in Germany. A good friend of mine, Heinrich Bücher, has been convicted of saying we ought to put ourselves in the shoes of Mr. Putin and we ought to realize the far right influence in the government of Kiev. He was convicted in a German court He's appealing, but he's not going to pay the, the 2,000 uh, euro fine, so it's likely he will end up in jail for several months. Now, that's freedom of speech. We enjoy that here in the United States. I really am concerned of what will happen to my friend. Just suffice it to end here and to say that this Verhandeln, uh, you know, Verhandeln, Reach your hand. Let's be human here. Let's let's not uh, dust each other off. Let's extend our hands. Verhandeln statt schießen. Well, you know, um, it was very very bleak in our country during the suppression of blacks. And I had the privilege of working with uh, Vincent Harding, uh, Dr. Harding, who was the the, the author of uh, Martin Luther King's speech on Vietnam. He had a song, and the song was, we gotta keep on moving forward, never turning back. Well, what I would suggest is that we need to, we need to keep on moving forward. Uh, and I, I would recommend the second stanza of this to you all. And if you would listen, I would really very appreciate it. We're gonna keep on moving forward. We're gonna keep on loving our enemies. We're gonna keep on loving our enemies. We're gonna keep on loving our enemies. Never turning back. Never turning back. In closing, I will just refer to those children that I that I noticed more than I usually notice children in the airports today. And what I ask you all, because you have the power to do so, given to you after the last major world war, I ask you to do what's necessary so that no one kills the children anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you, and I now give the floor to those members of the Security Council who wish to make